Get free tech advice for your business from O2 Gurus. Search O2 Business for more. Hey guys, welcome to BTech. It's Basil here with six Windows phone devices. We've got the Lumia 735, 830, 930, 1020, 1520, and an HTC One M8 for Windows. Now, these have pretty different chipsets across them all. You have a Snapdragon S4 dual core in the 1020, the oldest of the bunch. In the left-hand side, Lumia 1520, and the 930, you have Qualcomm Snapdragon 800s. Down at the base, you've got Snapdragon 4, 400s in the 735 and the 830 and finally in the M8 for Windows is the newest chipset of the bunch and that's the Snapdragon 801. So how do they stack up? Well we're going to start off in alphabetical order with Antutu after which we'll move on to base mark then relative benchmark and Pi benchmark followed by a browser mark in an internet explorer. So we'll open up Antutu across them all to begin with. So now you can see they're all done. The winner of the bunch quite clearly is the HTC One M8 for Windows with a score of 26,329. This is followed by the two Snapdragon 800 devices, the 1520 and the 930 with similar scores, 25,958, 25,903. What you can expect is that Snapdragon 400 devices to perform similarly, um, 1,255, 1,100, and uh, sorry, 11,981, 12,055 even. And a not too dissimilar score from the dual core Snapdragon S4. That's 11,580. So that was Antutu. How do they compare in base mark? And you can see pretty clearly once again, the HTC One M8 is the winner. Next in line, it's the Lumia 1520 1040, one overall as opposed to 1033 on the 930. Down below, you can actually see the two new devices, the Lumia 735 and 830, score lower than the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 powered um, Nokia Lumia 1020, so that's 510 as opposed to 447 and 492, which really does suggest for gaming, you're gonna be much better off with one of the higher end devices. We can definitely say from our experience, the area that we notice the Lumia 735 and 830 slow down the most is in processing of images. So when you use Nokia's smart camera, take lots of pictures, it takes a very long time for them to all get processed down. Now we can move on to our next benchmark and if we open up our list that is Pi Benchmark. The fastest one to get it was um, the Nokia Lumia 1520 with 140 milliseconds to work out Pi. That is exactly what this Pi benchmark does. Next in line, HTC One M8 for Windows, 160 milliseconds, 172 on the 930. You have 257 on the 1020, and the Nokia Lumia 735 and 7 and 830 fall behind. 698 milliseconds on the 735, 706 milliseconds on the 830. So what this very clearly illustrates is that the 830 and 930 with that same resolution screen, same one gigabyte of RAM and same Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor benchmark, exactly the same virtually. Jumping out of that, next benchmark is going to be relative benchmark.
Now that's all finished. The winner is again the HTC One M8 for Windows, 2,709. Next in line, it is the Nokia Lumia 1520, 2,500, sorry, 2,254. 2212 on the 930. Again, drawing the conclusion that the 930 and 1520 perform virtually identically, again unsurprising, to gig RAM, Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processors. You have a higher score on the bottom two devices than you were two, interesting in interestingly enough, than the 1020. So it's 735, 732 and you have 645 for the Nokia Lumia 1020, the oldest device of the bunch. Now we can jump home and finally pick up our last benchmark of the day, and that is BrowserMark. Interestingly, both the 735 and 830 crashed midway through the test. The 1020 didn't even finish it, despite waiting for around 15, 20 minutes. So we're gonna do a sun spider test across all of them, but for the ones that actually did make it until the end, the winner was the Nokia Lumia 930, with the HTC One M8 for Windows coming up in second place, and finally, the Nokia Lumia 1520, all within relatively similar ranges of one another. Now we can run the old school sun spider benchmark on all of these devices and you can very clearly see the results don't take long to pull up. We can check out the total results, 538.2 milliseconds on the 1520, 519 milliseconds on the Lumia M on the HTC One M8 for Windows phone, 539 milliseconds. So these two, yet again, are incredibly comparable. The HTC One M8, a little bit quicker. You have 941 milliseconds on the Lumia 1020. And the slowest of the bunch, the two at the base. So the Snapdragon 400 powered 735 and 830, 1229 and 12. 6.1. So what have we learned? We have learned that the Nokia Lumia 1020 still has some pretty current specs when it comes to benchmarking. That might have a lot to do with the fact it has that 2 gig of RAM in it by contrast to the 1 gig of RAM in the two newer 735 and 830. We can also tell that the 730 and 735 and the 830 also perform virtually identically, despite the fact the Nokia Lumia 830 is gonna be more expensive. Obviously, you're paying for that metal frame. You're also paying for that 10 megapixel rear-facing camera with optical image stabilization. So if camera is important, then that will be and should be the main differentiator along with price. You also have slightly different screen performance thanks to the AMOLED versus the IPS panel. If instead you just want performance and you want value for money above all and a high resolution front facing camera then the 730 and 735 will be for you. The 730 no LTE, 735 PAX LTE. If we move those to one side we can also see if you're in the market for a Windows phone and you want something that's maybe reduced in price based on the fact that it's been out for a while, the Nokia Lumia 1520 is a brilliant contender. It performs identically to the Nokia Lumia 930 and it packs a larger display, could be perfect, supporting all the same applications as well, like Storyteller, for example, and all the latest from Nokia. It's a really, really strong offering still a year after it was announced. The Lumia 930 is the strongest Windows phone from Nokia around joint with a 1520. It's a thick device. It looks really, really characteristic with its bright colors. Our downside from it when using it was that battery life. Why you might want that Nokia Lumia 930 is if you want wireless charging out of the box, the optical image stabilization and the improved camera experience with that 20 megapixel snapper. Also, you have an AMOLED screen as opposed 
just an IPS screen on here. If we move that out of the way, the HTC One M8 for Windows, well, there's only really one thing we can say, and that's HTC. Why don't we have this in the UK? Why don't we have this across Europe? Because it's the best performing Windows phone out there, at least when it comes to benchmarks. Also with those front-facing boom sound speakers, that great five-inch display, um, and of course, that gorgeous metal styling akin to the HTC One M8. It's a winner across the board. Clearly, there is a Windows phone out there for everyone, especially if you live in the US and you are indeed on Verizon. Benchmarks are only half the story. Real world tests are where it is at. So if you've got any questions about how any of these perform in those real world tests and in real world situations, buy them in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure you click like and share it. And if you like the channel, subscribe. Thanks for watching BTECT.